Hello, my friends, and thank you for joining us to bask in the gospel of Trizola. As Trizola says, all knives should be sharp, all knives should be pointy. May your lock bars be strong and your stop pins be thick. May your grinds be even and your handles slick. We appreciate and bask in the word of Trizola, the godfather of the tactical knife. What's going on guys? The Real Sharif M here, aka Mangana Steel, and I really hope you like that really silly intro. Sorry for the video being a little late today. I decided not to stay up till 3 a.m. making my video uh, and publishing it <laughs> uh, just to make my usual 8.30 uh, a.m. deadline, but man, I did get a decent night's sleep, which is rare for me. Now, if you guys are new to the channel here, before I get into the, the subject, please hit that subscribe below, uh, button below and turn on notifications. It really helps with the algorithm. And to all of you who are new here, I really, really appreciate it. And thank you for, for following me. Now, today we are going to talk about the fact that I have finally acquired one of my absolute grail knives. And what is this? This is the Bob Trezola CKF collaboration called the Eagle Rock. Now, why is this one of my grails? Well, this isn't one of those knives that's like regularly available, but what it is and what it represents is one of the only production knives that is a true one-to-one -one scale interpretation of Bob's custom knives. Now, we've seen plenty of Bob Trezola collaborations in the past, whether it was with a uh, mass drop or uh, I believe like MKM or ProTech, but none of them took the concept of Bob's knives and did it in true full-scale fashion. And that was always the problem for me. With my big old chunky mitts here, my ham hocks, you know, uh, being that I wear extra large to double extra large gloves, it was always a problem of hand fitment. I had the mass drop, uh, I believe it was the ATCF or CTF, I can't remember which one, but it was a three and a half finger knife for me which always bothered the crap out of me, which is why I ended up selling it. It was a nice design. It was a nice knife, a little bit thick behind the edge, but definitely did not represent or give me the feeling that it was a true one-to-one -one Bob Trezola custom, you know, style knife. And I mean, I get it. Not everything is going to be as accurate as his like custom knives, but that's what makes this, to me, so special. Now, to give you guys a bit of a concept of how big this thing is, let me grab a couple of examples. Um, previously, one of my bigger tactical knives has been this Emerson CQC-15. This is one of my favorites. It is a hard user for me, and I do use the crap out of this. But when you put them really side by side, look how much smaller the CQC-15 is, even from the handle and where the pivots line up. It's ridiculous. And I'm balancing them on my pinky so you can kind of see them line up to one another, right? And this is not a small knife. This is, for most people, a terrifyingly large knife when you see it in person. Uh, now, if we use some of my own knives, for example, my everyday tactical inspired knife, the Ruckus, again, this thing completely dwarfs the Ruckus in every way, right? 
Uh, if you have my momentum, let's look at that. Again, the momentum is a tiny knife in comparison. <laughs> and then last but not least, let's, um, where did I, where did I put, oh, there you are, dark. The Grazioso. Look at this guy. So tiny. It can literally, like, completely fit inside <laughs> of the Eagle Rock here. Now, that and that's why I love it and why I got it. Like, I have been trying to get a Bob Trezola knife for a long time. Uh, I have entered into his... Um, not giveaways, but he does lotteries and he does like holiday sort of uh, drawings for your opportunity to get a knife. And uh, I have never, never won. I've always been um, passed over by like one number or just luck of the draw. Uh, it wasn't me. And so to get this is a major, major milestone for me. Why is it so significant to me? Well, Bob literally wrote the book on tactical knife design. And what I mean by that is he literally wrote the book. Like you can go to Bob Trezola's website and for I think like $40, you can get his book, which literally details every aspect, every aspect of making from scratch a proper tactical knife under Bob's personal philosophy. And it's one thing to be able to design a, a knife. You know, you can sketch anything you want on paper, but to actually translate that into a functioning tool, you need the understanding and knowledge that Bob conveys within his book. And that goes to like lock face angles, the lock bar length, geometry between the lock bar, the stop pin, and the pivot, uh, pivot locations, you name it. And all of that is detailed within Bob Trezola's book. And it's what really helped me bridge the gap between just drawing a pretty picture and actually having something that is a proper functioning knife. So if you guys like any of my designs, just know that it came from the man who made this. And that's why I hold Bob Trezola in such high regard because so much of this industry is kind of hidden in a sense, right? It was like you, if you didn't apprentice with a, a custom knife maker and spend all of this time learning from them the ins and outs of how to actually do all of this stuff by hand, there was, it, it was a barrier to entry into the space. And believe it or not, even if you work with the Chinese manufacturers, sure, they can uh, fill in some of those gaps for you, but they will do so in the most convenient matter to them and it doesn't ensure the the end result that you want understanding and knowing this stuff and being able to put it into practice ensures that you have a proper functioning tool like if you guys who have the ruckus like how solid this thing is when it locks up it's because of bob that's why this thing has a chunky stop pin here. And really, once you get this thing opened and locked up, it's a bank vault. Well, that knowledge comes from Bob. <laughs> so that's, that's why it was so important for me to finally acquire something that is a true representation of what Bob does. And being able to like finally get this thing in hand, you see so many other little clever details with how he approached the knife. Like for me, 
this little line right here, this little cutaway for the flipper tab, isn't something that I find necessarily the most aesthetically pleasing, but it does serve a purpose and it gives you access to this flipper tab and then helps that flipper tab disappear because it shifts all of this down just a little bit. And so now that flipper tab is completely gone. So if you want to make use of this more uh, chisely kind of section here in the blade, you really have a place to put your index finger and with this thumb ramp that ramps up, that indexes into your palm and makes for a very, very comfortable knife for you to bear down and do work with. Heavy work. <laughs> And it's just little considerations like that where you see that Bob's genius kind of like come through. Absolutely, right? That's why this guy is considered the GOAT. So this is just stunning. Now, if I haven't mentioned, this is a compound ground blade in S110V with a beautiful, beautiful stone wash here. We have the Timascus pivot collars. Not sure how well you guys are gonna see them there. Marble carbon fiber here, and the traditional Bob Trezola pocket clip, which just works and is so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It, it looks effortless and it just I don't know it complements the knife in a way I didn't really expect when I saw it so every little detail is considered here and done with it, it really a, an attention to detail that if you if you make knives and if you design knives you can really really see where all of the the accolades have come from when it comes to Bob Trezola stuff. Now, now that I have this, I'm admittedly even a little bit more motivated to get myself a custom, to be to be 100% honest with you guys. Uh, just because I'd love to see the differences in fit and finish. Bob definitely does a lot of really crazy stuff with uh, dovetailing certain features into the knives and just stuff that other custom makers wouldn't even dare to do. And it's just, I don't know, to me, this is one of the, the, the most stunning knives that I've, I've, ever, I've ever been able to handle and hold. This is on a very short list. One of the other ones, of course, was my CKF Sukhoi 4. But man, when you see these guys next to each other, like, look at the even the size difference between these two guys. The, the, the <laughs> Trizola really dwarfs this thing in, in comparison. Um... That was not a great way to show you guys the two of them side by side. Maybe, God, I really don't want to drop these. But, eh, there we go. can kind of see them side by side here. I got to say, CKF does some good work, guys. I'm genuinely impressed. And, man... I kind of feel bad that I, I don't own a Chris Reeves, but I own two CKFs. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I think I'm going to call it there. Uh, I could gush for a long time about that, but man, I, this is crazy because I just hit a thousand subscribers. I'm so overwhelmed by that. Then this guy comes and I just... Uh, too much good stuff is is overwhelming for me, honestly. Like, I, I'm not used to getting so many positive hits one after the other. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm overwhelmed. Now, just to let you guys know on the progress on uh, my knives, 
Uh, version 2 prototypes have been ordered. They should be here hopefully within the next uh, month, month and a half. I'm working on stickers. Got these little holographic dealies going on, which I'm kind of digging. I'm still trying to decide who's going to be my final uh, sticker supplier. But yeah, check that out. See if the camera will be able to focus on it. Uh, yeah, this is going to be the stickers that you're going to find inside of every single one of the boxes uh, of my knife and a uh, few other collaborations that I'm working on and, and kind of hoping to bring some, some nice accessories to you guys as well. On that note, thank you so much and please have a wonderful day.